Ladies and gentlemen, live from Fort Wayne, Indiana, it's the Davidson Nighttime Show. This week's guest, Rich Tavuni and Jalen Morris. Please welcome your host, Frank Davidson. Davidson. Tonight, we have great guests, Mr. Rich Tavirni and Jalen Morris. Please welcome them out here. Mr. T. Sir. Yeah, great to have you guys. Hey, we got blindfolds back there. We're going to get right into things, okay? We got blindfolds for you. We have the blindfolded barbecue sauce challenge. Oh, boy. Okay, are you guys ready for this? Here's your spoons. Thank you. Jalen. Thank you. I'll be partaking with you guys, of course. I'd be a fool not to. <laughs> it might be entertaining to watch me put this on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Okay, are we ready? Okay, first sauce. If you want to hand me your spoons, Mr. T, there's your spoon, and Jalen, a little more. Do I tell you what it is? Yes. Sweet Baby Ray's. Sweet Baby Ray's. Yeah, it's definitely Sweet Baby Ray's. <laughs> Great guesses. That is correct. Sauce number two. Mr. T, your sauce. Jalen, there's your sauce. You want to guess Jalen first? I know it. <clears throat> that is uh, fire drill. That is fire drill. Fire drill. <laughs> Mr. T, that is uh, one of your brand new sauces. We'll have you talk about that brand a little bit later. Yeah, yeah. Brand new sauce. Sauce number three. Jalen, I'll, I'll, I'll take a spoon there. Mm. Mm -hmm. I've not Jaylen? had this sauce before. I'm going to go with KC Masterpiece. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Sweet Baby Ray's Honey Barbecue Sauce. There you go. Really? The Honey Edition. Okay, on to the next sauce. Jalen, there's your sauce. Oh yeah, I know that one. <laughs> that oh. is, <laughs> oh, wow, is that a sauce? That right there is Sweet Aroma Barbecue Honey Mustard. Mr. T, I want to hear all about that one here in a minute, right? When we finish up, did you try that, Frank? I tried it. It uh, it's a good thing I was sitting down because, yeah, I think my uh, legs would have buckled if I had not been sitting down. Wow, that is a sauce if I've ever tasted a sauce. Okay, sauce number oh, what is this? Five or six? Jalen, you in for sauce for the next sauce? I am. Man, is that honey mustard good? <laughs> Jalen? Okay, Mr. T, what do you think? Is that is that um, hogwash? It is not. Oh! It's a good guess. It is not. They're kind of living in the same similar. genre. Similar, yes, yeah, very kind similar. Kind of Eastern Carolina. Uh-huh, mm-hmm. Jalen, any guesses? That might be KC barbecue. Jalen, this is open pit barbecue sauce, the original version. Mm. It says on the back, true pit master's choice. Yeah, that's not true. No, no. I think I know my true pit master's choice. 
We'll talk about that later. All right, not, next sauce. It's not one of the options. Jalen? Oh. <laughs> You know, some things just never get old, yeah, Mr. That's, T. That's, a, that's definitely a hogwash flavor. Wow. Sweet room of barbecue hogwash. Give it up for hogwash. Come on now. <laughs> mm. Okay, next sauce, shall we? <laughs> Ooh, this one's different. Mmm. Mm. I'm with you. Different. It's got a little fruit in it. Yeah? Yeah. Sweetness? Mm-hmm. Um. Let me give you a hint, Mr. T. Okay. It is from a barbecue restaurant chain. Oh. Is that like mm -hmm. a Lucille barbecue? Good guess, How but no. How about Shigs? Good guess, but no. Okay. Famous Dave's. Famous Dave's. Rich and Sassy. Never had it. Really? Until today. Yes, until today. Okay, I'm next in. sauce. Interesting. That's awful. Mm. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I ain't buying it. That's a white sauce. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, miss, miss, honey, miss with that. Yeah. Wow. Something to, to get that out of <laughs> Mr. T, uh, the fire drill was fine, but this uh, is different. That's like, that's like <laughs> two year old. Man. Yeah, it's it's uh, Ken's honey mustard. Ken's? Thank you. Ken's. He's calling that honey mustard? Is that a I challenge Excuse me. Hey Frank, yeah. how does that compare to the other honey mustard you Oh, have? don't get me started. <laughs> that, that, don't even say the other honey mustard, because we're not classifying that as honey mustard. There you go. Those are in two totally different categories. Classify it as. Okay, the final sauce, Mr. Okay, T. Okay, I'm ready. A little more, Jalen. Yep. Oh, yeah. That's a good way to end it right there. Mm-hmm. Old Faithful. Yeah. Jay, you know this one? Mm. Yep. Yeah, it's yep. Uh, our barbecue sauce. Yep. It's a Sweet Aroma Barbecue the sweet Ace aroma. sauce. Yes. That's yeah. what we like to talk about. Hey, we'll be right back. Thanks for joining us. Welcome back to the Davidson Nighttime Show. I am joined with Mr. Rich, Mr. T. Tavirni, mm -hmm. and his son, Jalen Morris. Uh, we're here to talk about some barbecue. Love it. Boy, that was some very, uh, for the most part, very good sauces. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we've got four sauces here, mm -hmm. all sweet aroma recipes. Yes, sir. First and foremost, the sweet sauce. Yeah, yeah we call that our ace sauce. Ace sauce. Yeah, you want to talk about that for a Sure. Our, our oldest daughter's name is Amy, okay. and she formulates that recipe for us, and I've called her Ace since she was born. Okay. So that's why we give her that, that name. Awesome. So that's our that would be our signature sauce. Yes. <clears throat> it's a yeah. sweet sauce, a little uh, kind of uh, Memphis-type sauce. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, delicious. Yeah. Delicious. Everybody at home, if you have not had something like the sweet aroma sweet sauce, you're missing out big time. It complements almost anything. There you, you go. Like. Yeah. 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 So it, it's solid. Won't jump out at you. It's mm -hmm. ju it just goes with everything. Complements yep. just about everything. Now, this is the uh, the newest sauce. That's the newest one to the game. This yep. is called Fire Drill. Fire Drill. <clears throat> and uh, about that. yeah, so um, we added some, some hot sauce to it, uh, to our regular sauce to make it hotter. Okay. Um, we actually did a taste test with the Blackhawk uh, staff 
not the school staff, the church staff. Okay. And we gave them two name choices. Sure. Between um, sunburn and fire drill, and they chose fire drill. Okay. okay. So uh, we, in, in our sauce, we put in something called the end. The end is made with a Carolina Reaper pepper. Oh. And um, I don't know if you want to know about peppers, but I can tell you about peppers. Please. <laughs> so peppers are rated on what's called a Scoville unit. Yeah. The Scoville unit is how much dairy fat does it take to counteract that particular spice? So for instance, a jalapeno pepper is pretty mild in the pepper world. It would take 3,500 Scoville units. Oh wow. A habanero pepper would be 100,000 Scoville units. A ghost pepper would be a million Scoville units. Oh boy. Carolina Reaper is uh, 2.7 million. Ouch. And the sauce that we use is formulated called the end is six million Scoville units. Holy yeah. Yeah, so um, we add that to the sauce in small doses. <laughs> we don't want to roast anything. No, no, no. And uh, so that's how we get the uh, little kick there. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy with the kick. Um, I personally could take a little more kick. Okay. But not a lot of people can. Right, right. I've actually eaten the uh, end yeah. itself. Seriously? Yeah. And? It was hot. Oh, I'm sure it was. Did you have any... Uh, no Sex. adverse effects, no. I sweat it. Okay, well, I'm sure you do. <laughs> but, uh, so that's how we made that. That's yeah. brand new to the game. Yeah, I like the sauce a lot. I was telling you backstage. Mm -hmm. um, it's hot enough to where you notice it. It mm -hmm. jumps out at you a little bit, but not overpowering. It yeah. takes away all the flavor. It's right. a perfect little touch of heat. Well, you know, in like a lot of uh, habanero sauces, um, I personally don't like the flavor of a habanero. Mm -hmm. the, t the heat doesn't bother me. I just don't like the flavor of it. Right. I don't think a pepper should ruin a sauce. Mm -hmm. That's why we went with something like the end, because it's uh, it's hot enough that you can just put a tiny bit in there. It's not going to alter the flavor of the sauce, right. but it's going to give a little kick. Absolutely. Absolutely. Jalen, have any mm -hmm. thoughts on, on the sauce? Yeah, the fire drill, it, uh, it gives a nice little kick to it. It doesn't really burn your mouth. It just gives you that nice... Uh, fiery sensation afterwards. Yes. But yeah. you know it's there. Yes, that's mm -hmm. exactly right. I normally don't like spicy food, but this, I, I really enjoy that. Well, good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, next is what used to be my favorite. It might be in trouble, though. <laughs> uh, hogwash. Hogwash. Yeah. yeah. This is an East Carolina-based sauce. Uh, in Eastern Carolina, they focus on vinegar. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, so... Um, this is more of a Western Carolina sauce because your Eastern Carolina is going to be really pretty much just vinegar. Okay. Western Carolina, they're going to add a little bit of uh, ketchup to it, a little bit of tomato to it, okay. maybe a little bit of sugar to it. Sure. Uh, sweeten it up just a little bit. Yeah. Um, this this sauce was formulated specifically for pulled pork. Okay. Yeah. It works with pulled pork and it works with a lot more than just pulled pork. Yeah. I'd have to say from experience. Yes. Yeah. So I have used it for more other things than pulled pork. Mm -hmm. Right. So I can I can I can safely vouch for that. Yes. Yep. Yes, absolutely. And last but certainly not least, <laughs> maybe my new favorite sauce in the world, people. Honey mustard. The honey mustard sauce. <coughs> so we had a wedding last weekend yeah. and uh, dear friends of ours, good Christian folk, they um, they stopped by a couple months ago and uh, they wanted us to do brisket and chicken. Uh -huh. And uh, they asked us specifically if we had a mustard sauce. Well, sure. we had one, and uh, from before, and we 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 farm we made it up for them, and we we were really happy with it. Mm -hmm. And so, um, like I always do, I dig on the internet, like you know, what are people putting in honey mustard sauces and stuff like that, and pick a little of this, pick a little of that, pick a little of this. So we made a recipe, and we liked it. Yeah. Okay. Well, then my wife made it. Sure. Well, then I made it the next time. And I messed up the recipe. We liked it a lot better. <laughs> so that's what you got. Funny how that works sometimes. Well, a lot of a lot of those uh, inventions are mistakes. Yes, that's right. That's so right. So that's our that's, that's our new honey right. mustard sauce. It's fantastic. Well, thank I have you. To say, it's phenomenal. Mm. Yeah. Jalen, any thoughts on the honey mustard? Well, today was the first time I tried it. I'd really? never really a honey mustard first. Did. But I okay. can say the sauce is good. Yes, it's very delicious. Very delicious, that's right. That's an understatement. Well, I'll tell you what, you take a couple tortilla shells, throw a little bit of brisket on there, oh. some cheese, and put that on there, that takes you to another world. Don't get me started. Don't get me started. 
people back home, if you're questioning whether it's good or not, here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Mr. T, yeah. big dream of yours, mm -hmm. there's been steps taken mm -hmm. uh, to start the process. Mm -hmm. Sweet Aroma Barbecue, Yeah, I want to hear all about it. Sweet Aroma Barbecue, well, I've been barbecuing for the most part for my entire adult life. Mm -hmm. um, as I was, I was I was a teacher, sure. principal, yeah. retired in 2015, decided we were going to get along in there, so we, uh, we got a really nice smoker, smoke a lot of meat been doing it for years um, and uh, so we decided that we're going to start somehow start up a, a, a barbecue business right don't know really how that's going to shake out I got a lot of ideas but uh, so um, what we're going to name it so one day we're sitting around at home and um, our son Tyler we have another son older than Jalen um, he came up with the word aroma mm -hmm. he said dad what about like aroma cue or something like that and immediately my mind went to Leviticus Oh, yes. An offering made by fire, a sweet aroma to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I said, that's it. Sweet aroma barbecue. Wow. There it is. That's awesome. Uh, so we do, we do brisket and you know, most of most of the things you would normally get, brisket, chicken, uh, pulled pork, mm -hmm. pork belly. Mm -hmm. We do ribs. You've had a few of our ribs. Yes. Um, many, and, many uh, of your ribs. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, and then ribs. we do a lot of other kind of side things, although we, we like to focus on the meat. Mm-hmm. So absolutely, that's awesome. Uh, great barbecue. Thank you. Maybe even the best uh, in this area, in this region. If if I were speaking for myself and, well, thank and, you. and my personal taste buds, and I know many mm -hmm. other people that have tried it. Yeah, your barbecue. Mm -hmm. It's tough to beat. Thank you. That's for certain. We enjoy doing it. It's, it's uh, my wife will tell you when it's time for me to barbecue. I get a little excited. <laughs> I get happy. I don't, you know, like like last week we, we did 100 pounds of brisket. I, I smoked for 40 straight hours. I was happy with that. And then I got a rest, and then I did, uh, what, 10 straight hours of chicken. Wow. It was fun. Wow. There, it's not, when, it, when you love it, it's not work. Right, right. It's kind so, of a, like a passion of yours. And this guy right here, he's my rib king. Yeah, I yeah. am. I, am I his, have to. Uh, I'm his rib judge. So yep. whenever he makes ribs, I have to give him a, a full. Uh, documentary sure mm -hmm. that you could say um, on how they taste you know is it too tender uh, oh. all the aspects of what you wanted really good ribs and you at the end of that you should give them a grade so mm -hmm. there's uh, some days where it's been uh, a B yeah in some cases there have been a C yeah mm -hmm. um, but uh, this past year he went down to uh, New Orleans where he saw uh, the rib king himself Johnny mm -hmm. Tree I heard about that yeah yeah mm -hmm. and so he comes back and he has takes some steps um, away from uh, Johnny Trigg and applies it to his own recipe sure um, and eventually and eventually they he comes back and also changes a wood for me because my favorite wood is cherry wood to use yeah. I like a sweet rib he yeah. comes gives it to me and beautiful oh boy he, you know and it was really funny because we're sitting at dinner one night eating ribs and when we eat barbecue at home, it's like we evaluate it. Yeah. Okay, what do you think? What do you think of this? Yeah. And he just goes, Dad, I want you to try cherry wood. Okay, next time I'm doing cherry wood. Did cherry wood. The next time he said, that's it. Wow. Mm -hmm. So. Um, the rib taster position. Uh, if there's ever an opening. Yeah. <laughs> if you need something to try out. Yeah. Um, I don't know the screening process. Yeah. And then, yeah. Uh, yeah, you have my, yeah. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Mr. G, do you have a favorite cut or favorite, just just any type of meat to cook, or is it everything? Well, it's hard. I mean, everything's different. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing that we do different than everybody else is, um, if you go to any of the barbecue restaurants in Fort Wayne, they'll use the same wood for all their meats. Mm -hmm. We use different woods for every meat. Oh, wow. We use different rubs for every meat. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, brisket, is the thing about brisket is you have to babysit brisket. You can't put brisket on the smoker and go play tennis right you have to be right there right now you can put pork butt on there and you can go to town sure you can come back and everything's fine sure brisket you gotta you gotta you gotta babysit okay i enjoy that yeah uh chicken is uh chicken is is 
a lot of labor intensive yeah. there for chicken, yeah. but I enjoy that too. Right. So uh, I would say my favorite meat to cook is probably brisket. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Jalen, favorite meat to watch being cooked or eat? Ribs, oh, my ribs well, is my number one, but yeah. the go-to would usually I like to eat is the pulled pork. Sure. Brisket sure. comes out uh, a third. Yeah. Yeah. Usually I'm not usually a strong brisket man. Okay. But I just love the pulled pork. Yeah. It's, it's, one, of the, yeah. it's the one of the things where I, in leftovers, I will go and eat. Mm -hmm. It's hard not to love the pulled pork. Yes. Yeah. We get that all the time. It is truly a treat. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Jalen mentioned just quickly about the trip down south to see the Rib King. Yeah, we went and met Johnny Trigg. Johnny Trigg is, I don't know if you know this, Frank, but um, you know that you're like the NBA and you got the, the NFL and all this. Well, there's a whole barbecue circuit out there. Sure, sure. And uh, Johnny Trigg is known as the godfather of ribs. Oh, wow. And um, he's... 80s, 70s, late 70s, early 80s. Okay. And my wife has wanted me to go see him. She said, you've got to go see him as long as we have him. Mm -hmm. So we went this past March, and she went with me, and uh, we got to sit under the tutelage of Mr. Johnny Trigg. Wow. That's it was a lot of fun. I'm sure it was. He's a good dude. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sounds like it. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, thank you guys so much for being on the show. It was a real pleasure. Uh, the sauces are out of this world. I thank you. I tell you. So... Well, Sweeter Apple Barbecue, big things are coming. And my wife is uh, a big part of it because she makes she makes the hogwash. Yes. And the uh, honey mustard. Mm -hmm. So. Yes, Mrs. T is backstage. And, yes. and uh, of course, we all want to thank her for the incredible things that she's done, not only in the barbecue world, yeah. but also impacting all of us Amen. In, in all of our lives. So thank you again for being on the show. It Thanks was for a having pleasure. Us. Yeah, come back anytime. Thank you again for joining us tonight. We want to thank our guests, Mr. Rich Javierny and Jalen Morris, for providing great entertainment for us. Be sure to tune in next week for our show right here in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, with the three Davidson brothers as hosts. Thank you again tonight. Have a great night.